Hey everyone, this is David Burnham here. Today in my video I'm going to take you on a little expedition through New York City. Many people when they think of New York City think about the popular tourist attractions such as the Statue of Liberty or Times Square. However, upon visiting New York City, I found that the best places to go and explore were the art galleries and museums. In this video I'm going to count down my top 10 favorite works I saw on the trip. From Van Gogh to Salvador Dali, the Big Apple has lots to offer. The first on our countdown is a painting by Pablo Picasso called Blind Man's Meal. Painted in Barcelona in 1903, this painting is representative of Picasso's Blue Period. Featured at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the museum just recently acquired a large collection of Picassos which are set to go on display in 2014. Painted by Austrian painter Gustav Klimt, Mada Primavesi was the daughter of a banker and actress. Klimt completed a number of works in his lifetime, the most famous being The Kiss and a portrait of Adele Blochbauer II, which is also currently on display in the Neue Gallery in New York City. Coming in at number 8 is Campbell's Soup Cans by Andy Warhol, which is currently on display at the Museum of Modern Art. Completed in 1962, the painting consists of the 32 different types of soup Campbell's offered at the time. My favorite is Clam Chowder. Next on our list is the highly detailed self-portrait of Vincent van Gogh. This piece was painted by the legendary artist in 1887 and is one of the major highlights at the Met. Van Gogh was determined to be an excellent figure painter and during his lifetime he painted more than 20 self-portraits. Number 6 on our list is another work by Pablo Picasso called The Young Ladies of Avignon. On display at the MoMA, this work is classic Picasso and was said to be strongly influenced by tribal art. Other critics have noted that the work was painted in reaction to Henri Matisse's The Joy of Life. Our number five artwork is an oil painting by Henri Rousseau titled The Sleeping Gypsy. Featuring a lion sniffing around as the gypsy rests, this piece of art was featured in an episode from the 10th season of The Simpsons. The piece is considered one of the most well-known artworks of modern times. At number four, Claude Monet's beach scene Regatta Saint Andres is a beautiful piece that is currently on display at the Met. Claude Monet has gone down in history as the founder of French Impressionism and is probably most well known for his paintings of water lilies. The number three spot goes to another French artist, Pierre Auguste Renoir, and his painting, Two Young Girls at the Piano. The beautiful painting is featured in the Lehman Gallery at the Met and has a nearly identical painting to it that is housed at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. The artwork that comes in at number two is the instantly recognizable Starry Night. Painted in southern France in 1889, this artwork is likely the most well-known artwork in all of New York City. The painting also bears a striking resemblance to another Van Gogh work from the Met called Wheatfield with Cypresses. And the number one artwork is Illuminated Pleasures by Salvador Dali. Though this work is not likely in many top ten lists, I feel that this painting captures the surrealism movement so perfectly and can captivate the senses and play with your imagination. Thank you for checking out this video of my top 10 artworks I saw on my most recent visit to New York City. I hope that it inspires you to go check out all these museums and see what New York City has to offer. I'm back, back in the New York.